Hey everybody, this is Crestal Snapdragon, and this video is geared towards Discord Bot Maker. This is a beginner's tutorial video for Discord Bot Maker. I will get into more advanced content, but in this video, I'm just going to show you how to obtain Discord Bot Maker, how to create your bot application, which is actually done in the Discord app developer portal, and then how to hook that application up to the Discord Bot Maker itself. I actually made a video like this not too long ago and it's on YouTube, but I was watching it and I didn't really like it and I thought I could do so much better. So this is my attempt at doing a lot better, make it more professional and straightforward. So let's get started. To obtain Discord Bot Maker, you actually download it through Steam. It's $10 and completely worth it. So you wanna go ahead and get Discord Bot Maker. And once you've bought it and downloaded it, you want to come to your library, go to software, go to properties, and then go to betas. Now you don't have to do this, but I suggest that you do. So when you first come here after you've bought and downloaded Discord Bot Maker, it's gonna say none, opt out of future betas. But if you do opt into the beta by hitting the drop down and go to beta for testing new features, you actually get access to a lot more things. So you can do a lot more if you opt into the Discord Bot Maker beta. So I do suggest that you do that. It'll just update your Discord bot maker, easy as pie. So once you've downloaded Discord bot maker, what you want to do next is go to the Discord app developer portal. I'll put the link down in the info for the video. And you'll basically see a page like this. So I already have three applications here, the Swanson bot, Albot Einstein, and BootyBot. And BootyBot is just a comedic bot that I made for my friend who considers himself the twerk team captain. So we're just gonna actually go to new application here because we're gonna create a new bot. Can't spell today. Okay, so once you've created a new bot, this is what you're gonna see. Here's the name of it. You can give it a description. You can give it an icon here. And this is just an example of what the permissions are gonna look like when somebody is inviting the bot to their server. And then you wanna save the changes. Technically, you don't want to show anybody the client ID, but I'm going to delete this Discord bot <laughs> after this video, so it really doesn't matter. But in general, don't show people the client ID. Next, we want to go down to bot, and you're going to see this here. You want to go to add bot, and you're going to get a token. Don't reveal that to anybody either. And then you want to make sure this is checked if you want others to be able to invite the bot to their server. And this is where you determine the bot's permission. If you give the bot administrator, that means it has permissions for everything. But you can pick and choose permissions depending on what you want your bot to be able to do. But generally, I give it administrator. Okay, so now we've created our bot application. That was actually pretty easy. Now we need to hook it up to Discord Bot Maker. So when you first enter Discord Bot Maker, you're going to see Create New Project. So just hit Create New Project. Give the bot a name. You want to choose where it's going to save. I'm going to save mine here. And then some things that you can do that are really nice is you can go ahead and start your bot with basic commands and events. You can start it with a level up system and moderation commands. I'm gonna go ahead and start it with moderation commands. Okay, as you can see, it's already populated. A few commands here, a help command, a kick command, a ban command, mute, unmute, and you can delete channel as well as delete role. So this is just nice to begin with so that we don't have to do it although I do have a video that shows you how to do this manually. So we're gonna go over here to settings. First you wanna pick your prefix. You can prefix it with anything. If you wanted to prefix it with 90, you could do it. But I generally don't use an exclamation mark just because every other bot under the sun does. So if you have another bot in the Discord server that you're making this for, maybe don't use an exclamation mark. So we're gonna use forward slash, I think. Okay, and now we're gonna populate this information here. 
Now to get your bot owner ID, you actually have to get this ID from Discord itself. And to do that, you probably want the Lopez bot here. And then just go to a bot spam channel that you have on your Discord and do exclamation ID. And then Lopez actually populates your bot ID here. So that's my bot owner ID. And now we want to go get our token from the developer portal. We're going to put it here. And then we're going to go get our client ID and we're going to put it here. Okay. Our bot is now officially hooked up to Discord Bot Maker. And this information here, this link that just popped up, this is the link that you're eventually going to use to invite the bot to your Discord server. So keep that in mind. And we're set to go. We're all ready. Now a few things that I should show you for this. If you want to run the project and test it, you go to project and run project. That'll actually turn it on. And if you have it invited to your Discord server, you'll actually be able to use it. So you'll be able to run the commands. Always save your project. It doesn't auto save. So you always want to save your project. Every time you turn the project on, it is actually going to save it. It's going to ask you to save it. So I highly suggest that you do that. Okay, so that is it. Easy as pie getting started. The next video I suggest you watch is my basic utility commands video that shows you how to set up the bot game. It also shows you how to set up a command so that you can check how many guilds or Discord servers your bot is located in and a few other utility commands. I also show you how to manually set up these commands over here for moderation. And the bot game, if you're unaware, is for instance, if I did this, and so now the Swanson bot is playing the Swanson. And so a lot of people use the bot game to say playing exclamation help for a list of commands to get started. So I'll show you how to make the set bot game command and get you started with those utilities in the next video. Thanks for watching.